subscribe now. EU debates. Without further ado, let's move on to marine conservation. Recognizing excellence in management of marine Nature 2000 sites. That vast area of ocean, coastal, offshore, uh, that protects the biodiversity in the marine. This year, it's a new category. It's a re we really got exciting applications from NGOs, but also from different sectors and partnerships, covering marine turtles, seabirds, dolphins, regional cooperation and marine monitoring. Let's have a short video to present this year's finalists. Firstly, we have Reconnect for Marine Protected Areas from Bulgaria, Cyprus and Greece. Next, we have Protecting the Mediterranean Loggerhead Sea Turtle and this comes from Greece. And finally, we have fishermen and seabirds, allies for the sea from Portugal. So hopefully we'll be joined on screen by our finalists. And I would welcome the commissioner again and our jury member, in this case, Luna Milatovic, Biodiversity Policy Officer for SeaWeb, which is a biodiversity network for 15 Central and Eastern European countries. And she is representing environmental NGOs. And if we look at the story of Natura 2000 over the last 30 years, the environmental NGOs have been champions from day one. So it's great that you're joining us here on stage. So, and a big round of applause for our finalists and for our, our winner. So, Luna, please tell us who the winner is of this award. Um, good afternoon, everyone. And the winner of the marine conservation category is Fishermen and Seabirds Allies for the Sea from Portugal. I think we're joined by Ana Almeida from SPEA, the Portuguese Society for the Study of Birds, the BirdLife Partner, and Ariel, you're somewhere in the audience, so please come up again <laughs> as a representative of the Portuguese BirdLife Partner. So Luna, this was the first time we have this award. This particular organization has been a finalist already, so congratulations on winning the award this time. What gave them the edge this time in this category? Uh, well, yes, this project was already a finalist in 2020, and uh, we were super happy to see that they applied again and that they were successful this time. Um, the project is very original. It's very simple, um, not very costly, and easily replicable everywhere. So we, we all really loved it. And what they did is that they put a very simple device of a scare bird onto the boats, and this resulted in reducing the seabird mortality, but also fishermen loved it because it meant that they spend less time untangling the nets and removing the dead birds. So we really, we, we, we all, the jury, love this project because of how easy it is, how simple it is, but how um, beneficial it is for the nature. So congratulations. So. Thank you, thank you, Luna. And it, it does, as Commissioner knows well, this does face a real challenge that we deal with in the European Union in tackling bycatch. And it, it's a win-win solution. But maybe, Anna, could I ask you one or two questions? Firstly, are you happy to have won this award? Yes. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy. It's a big pleasure and a big honor to be here and uh, uh, um, to be the winner, and it's also recognition to SPEAS, the NGO uh, that I'm representing here, and the work that we do for tackling seabird bycatch for the last uh, 10 years. 
and uh, with the, the fishing communities in Portugal. And also it's an, a huge incentive for us to keep the work and uh, take this measure and other mitigation measures to other areas. And you've designed this simple solution for birds. Do you think it can be translated to other regions, to other member states? Um, what's your sense of that? Yeah, we, we truly believe that it's a, a, a really good mitigation measure because it's cheap, it's not very uh, costly for fishermen, it's easy, uh, very easy to operate and uh, it doesn't uh, affect the target fish catch. So fishermen in general, they, are really, uh, they really accept this measure. So now we are already working with the other bird life partners to take the scary bird device to other uh, areas of Europe and also uh, beyond Europe. Congratulations again. Could we get a picture with uh, the commissioner and the jury member? So please. <laughs> 